morning or good afternoon. It's Friday, 19 January. Brad and myself, Brad from Lakeside Bait and Tackle, Doug Eyed from Guide Eyed Fishing, we are out on Dullivan right now. We're about 250 yards out from American Marine. And roughly first hole we drilled about six and a half, seven inches. You can see there's a bunch of people in shanties out. Lake looks pretty good. Everywhere we've been the last couple days to keep checking, everything's been pretty solid. We'll get out and do some more hole popping here for you. So we were out in front of uh, Bluegill Drive. When we first came out, we punched a hole where we had a hole Monday when there was no ice. Um, where there was an inch, we had six and a half inches. Now we're about 150 yards out. Seven? Seven and a half? Yeah. Well, we'll get over to the boat launch and the beach next. So we're in the boat launch channel. We're right in front of the boat launch. The only reason I stopped instead of going out farther was because we had six inches here Monday. I just wanted to see how much it grew. inches so about 10 inches of ice right here we're gonna go out kind of in front of the bridge we know there's gonna be less we're just gonna see how much there is so now we're literally parallel with the bridge and uh, you can see the glare ice under the bridge got about eight inches here. I think we're gonna run over and check Como real quick. All right, so now we're out on Como. We walked out from the boat launch. We did walk out from the other end too. I imagine these are both gonna be the same. You need a bigger, uh, there's the bottom of the ice, so we'll see what that is. That's 11 inches. So, Como's got 11 where we're at. I'd say we're uh, 50, 60 yards out. So, we checked the other side, there was 10. So, pretty much the same. Como's definitely ready to go. So, we're over in Geneva Bay. We're a good 100 yards off the library. There's, there's about 12 shanties out. At the shore, we checked it. You can tell where we walked out. We drilled a hole every 50 feet. Um, we roughly anywhere between five and six constantly. Same thing, about five and a half. So. I would think it's pretty good though when you see these guys out here. I don't know that I'd walk all the way out to Maytag yet. Or I don't know if I'd drive a four-wheeler on it yet, but everything we've checked so far. So we're gonna head over to the boat launch in the city here and check that next. So we're over out from the boat launch. We're both saying about 150 yards out. It says about eight inches, but we're in the, if you notice the difference, we're in the chopped ice. That's all the ice that broke off the shores over the last few days and blew in and froze before the rest of the lake froze. So once you get to where it's smooth, it's probably back to that five inches. But right now about 150 yards out, we're in almost eight inches of ice. So we're out in front of Trinkies. We're about 25 yards out from the launch. Every 
everything's been pretty consistent between three and a half and four inches um when you see the ice and you can see through it that means it was formed before that snowfall Saturday or after that snowfall Saturday so I, I don't really know going too far out without having the ice bar with us that it's worth it just to check ice but if you're out here just use a little bit of caution we'll stop by Lynn Road next so we're over by Lynn Road and it looks kind of I, I can't really tell you what the ice conditions are out there because I'm not going to jump over the ice to get on the ice that's already got open water with holes in it so this one's kind of an enter at your own risk does look like there is some open water possibly out there a couple hundred yards. Well, it looks like it just froze. Yeah. I mean, it looks chopped up because of the wind in that. But I mean, I don't know. But there's no way I'm jumping down a chunk of ice to get on a chunk of ice. No. We are at Casa de Micrit. We went everywhere we're going to go. Um, the only thing I can say, this should be a great weekend. Yeah, should be a really good weekend for fishing. Ice is good on Delavan and Como. Uh, Geneva Bay has some pretty good ice too. So Tricky's would be all right if it was just like me and you. Yeah, you know, we just took our time a little bit. And it was me and you, we'd be fine. Yeah. And one thing I can say from being in Lakeside Bait and Tackle earlier, they have so much bait in the bait tanks for this weekend. You can't see the bottom of the bait tank. We are stocked up for uh, this weekend. So, if you guys are heading out this weekend. Good luck to you, and maybe we'll see you out there. Be safe.